The Iranian languages or Iranic languages form a branch of the Indo-Iranian languages, which in turn are a branch of the Indo-European language family. The speakers of Iranian languages are known as Iranian peoples. Historical Iranian languages are grouped in three stages, Old Iranian, Middle Iranian, and New Iranian. Of the Old Iranian languages, the better understood and recorded ones are Old Persian and Avestan. Middle Iranian languages included Middle Persian, Parthian, and Bactrian. As of 2008, there were an estimated 150 to 200 million native speakers of Iranian languages. Ethnologue estimates there are 86 Iranian languages, the largest amongst him being Persian, Pashtu, Kurdish, and Baluchi. Term. The term Iranian is applied to any language which descends from the ancestral Proto-Iranian language. Iranian derives from the Persian equivalent of the Sanskrit origin word Aryan. The use of the term for the Iranian language family was introduced in 1836 by Christian Lassen. Robert Needham Cust used the term Irano-Aryan in 1878 and Orientalists such as George Abraham Grierson and Max Muller contrasted Irano-Aryan and Indo-Aryan. Some recent scholarship, primarily in German, has revived this convention. Proto-Iranian All Iranian languages are descended from a common ancestor, Proto-Iranian. In turn, and together with Proto-Indo-Aryan and the Nuristani languages, Proto-Iranian descends from a common ancestor, Proto-Indo-Iranian. The Indo-Iranian languages are thought to have originated in Central Asia. The Andronovo culture is the suggested candidate for the common Indo-Iranian culture California, 2000 BC. It was situated precisely in the western part of Central Asia that borders present-day Russia. It was in relative proximity to the other Satam ethno-linguistic groups of the Indo-European family, like Thracian, Balto-Slavic and others and to common Indo-Europeans' original homeland, according to the reconstructed linguistic relationships of common Indo-European. Proto-Iranian thus dates to some time after Proto-Indo-Iranian breakup, or the early 2nd millennium BCE. As the old Iranian languages began to break off and evolve separately as the various Iranian tribes migrated and settled in vast areas of southeastern Europe, the Iranian Plateau, and Central Asia. Innovations of Proto-Iranian compared to Proto-Indo-Iranian include asterisk s other than asterisk turns into asterisk h, asterisk b, asterisk d, asterisk g merge into asterisk b, asterisk d, asterisk g. Fricativization of voiceless stops asterisk p, asterisk t, asterisk k become asterisk f, asterisk theta, asterisk x before another consonant in all positions, asterisk p, asterisk t, asterisk k become asterisk f, asterisk theta, asterisk x. Old Iranian the multitude of Middle Iranian languages and peoples indicate that great linguistic diversity must have existed among the ancient speakers of Iranian languages. Of that variety of languages, dialects, direct evidence of only two have survived. These are Avestan, the two languages, dialects of the Avestar, i.e., the liturgical texts of Zoroastrianism, Old Persian, the native language of a southwestern Iranian people known as Persians, indirectly attested Old Iranian languages are discussed below. Old Persian is the Old Iranian dialect as it was spoken in southwestern Iran by the inhabitants of Parza, who also gave their name to their region and language. Genuine Old Persian is best attested in one of the three languages of the Behistun inscription, composed circa 520 BC, and which is the last inscription in which Old Persian is still grammatically correct. Later inscriptions are comparatively brief, and typically simply copies of words and phrases from earlier ones, often with grammatical errors which suggests that by the 4th century BC the transition from Old Persian to Middle Persian was already far advanced, but efforts were still being made to retain an old quality for official proclamations. 
The other directly attested Old Iranian dialects are the two forms of Avestan, which take their name from their use in the Avastar, the liturgical texts of indigenous Iranian religion that now goes by the name of Zoroastrianism but in the Avastar itself is simply known as Vohu, Dina. The language of the Avastar is subdivided into two dialects, conventionally known as Old Avestan and Younger Avestan. These terms, which date to the 19th century, are slightly misleading since Younger Avestan is not only much younger than Old Avestan, but also from a different geographic region. The Old Avestan dialect is very archaic, and at roughly the same stage of development as Rigvedic Sanskrit. On the other hand, Younger Avestan is at about the same linguistic stage as Old Persian, but by virtue of its use as a sacred language retained its old characteristics long after the Old Iranian languages had yielded to their Middle Iranian stage. Unlike Old Persian, which has Middle Persian as its known successor, Avestan has no clearly identifiable Middle Iranian stage. In addition to Old Persian and Avestan, which are the only directly attested Old Iranian languages, all Middle Iranian languages must have had a predecessor, Old Iranian, form of that language, and thus can all be said to have had an old form. Such hypothetical Old Iranian languages include Cardusian Old Parthian. Additionally, the existence of unattested languages can sometimes be inferred from the impact they had on neighboring languages. Such transfer is known to have occurred for Old Persian, which has a median substrate in some of its vocabulary. Also, foreign references to languages can also provide a hint to the existence of otherwise unattested languages. For example through toponyms, ethnonyms or in the recording of vocabulary, as Herodotus did for what he called Scythian. Isoglosses conventionally, Iranian languages are grouped in Western and Eastern branches. These terms have little meaning with respect to our old Avestan as that stage of the language may predate the settling of the Iranian peoples into Western and Eastern groups. The geographic terms also have little meaning when applied to Younger Avestan since it isn't known where that dialect was spoken either. Certain is only that Avestan and Old Persian are distinct, and since Old Persian is Western and Avestan was not Old Persian, Avestan and acquired a default assignment to Eastern. Confusing the issue is the introduction of a Western Iranian substrate in later Avestan compositions and redactions undertaken at the centers of imperial power in Western Iran. Two of the earliest dialectal divisions among the Iranian indeed happen to not follow the later division into Western and Eastern blocks. These concern the fate of the Proto-Indo-Iranian first series palatal consonants asterisk C and asterisk DZ. Avestin and most other Iranian languages have deafricated and depalatalized these consonants and have asterisk C greater than S, asterisk DZ greater than Z. Old Persian, however, has fronted these consonants further. Asterisk C greater than theta, asterisk DZ greater than asterisk TH greater than D. As a common intermediate stage, it is possible to reconstruct depalatalized affricates. Asterisk C, asterisk DZ. A further complication, however, concerns the consonant clusters asterisk CW and asterisk DZW. Avestin and most other Iranian languages have shifted these clusters to SP, ZB. In Old Persian, these clusters yield S, Z, with loss of the glide asterisk W, but without further fronting. The Saka language, attested in the Middle Iranian period, and its modern relative Waki fail to fit into either group. In these, palatalization remains, and similar glide losses in Old Persian occurs. Asterisk CW greater than S, asterisk DZW greater than Z, a division of Iranian languages in at least three groups during the Old Iranian period is thus implied. Persid, Sakan, Central Iranian. It is possible that other distinct dialect groups were already in existence during this period. 
Good candidates are the hypothetical ancestor languages of Alanian, Sido Sarmatian subgroup of Scythian in the far northwest, and the hypothetical, Old Parthian in the near northwest, where original asterisk DW greater than asterisk B. Middle Iranian languages. What is known in Iranian linguistic history as the Middle Iranian era is thought to begin around the 4th century BC lasting through the 9th century. Linguistically the Middle Iranian languages are conventionally classified into two main groups, a Western and Eastern. The Western family includes Parthian and Middle Persian, while Bactrian, Sogdian, Khwarezmian, Saka, and Old Ossetic fall under the Eastern category. The two languages of the Western group were linguistically very close to each other, but quite distinct from their Eastern counterparts. On the other hand, the Eastern group was an aerial entity whose languages retained some similarity to Avestan. They were inscribed in various Aramaic-derived alphabets which had ultimately evolved from the Achaemenid imperial Aramaic script, though Bactrian was written using an adapted Greek script. Middle Persian was the official language under the Sasanian dynasty in Iran. It was in use from the 3rd century CE until the beginning of the 10th century. The script used for Middle Persian in this era underwent significant maturity. Middle Persian, Parthian and Sogdian were also used as literary languages by the Manichaeans whose texts also survive in various non-Iranian languages, from Latin to Chinese. Manichaean texts were written in a script closely akin to the Syriac script. New Iranian languages Following the Islamic conquest of Persia, there were important changes in the role of the different dialects within the Persian Empire. The old prestige form of Middle Iranian, also known as Pahlavi, was replaced by a new standard dialect called Dari as the official language of the court. The name Dari comes from the word Daba, which refers to the royal court, where many of the poets, protagonists, and patrons of the literature flourished. The Safarid dynasty in particular was the first in a line of many dynasties to officially adopt the new language in 875 CE. Dari may have been heavily influenced by regional dialects of eastern Iran, whereas the earlier Pahlavi standard was based more on western dialects. This new prestige dialect became the basis of standard New Persian. Medieval Iranian scholars such as Abdullah ibn al mukaffar and ibn al madim associated the term Dari with the eastern province of Khorasan, while they used the term Pahlavi to describe the dialects of the northwestern areas between Isfahan and Azerbaijan, and Parsi to describe the dialects of Fars. They also noted that the unofficial language of the royalty itself was yet another dialect, Kuzi, associated with the western province of Khuzestan. The Islamic conquest also brought with it the adoption of Arabic script for writing Persian and much later, Kurdish, Pashto and Baluchi. All three were adapted to the writing by the addition of a few letters. This development probably occurred some time during the second half of the 8th century, when the old Middle Persian script began dwindling in usage. The Arabic script remains in use in contemporary modern Persian. Tajik script was first Latinized in the 1920s under the then Soviet nationality policy. The script was however subsequently Cyrillicized in the 1930s by the Soviet government. The geographical regions in which Iranian languages were spoken were pushed back in several areas by newly neighboring languages. Arabic spread into some parts of western Iran, and Turkic languages spread through much of Central Asia, displacing various Iranian languages such as Sogdian and Bactrian in parts of what is today Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan. In Eastern Europe, mostly comprising the territory of modern-day Ukraine, Southern European Russia, and parts of the Balkans, the core region of the native Scythians, Sarmatians, and Alans had been decisively been taken over as a result of absorption and assimilation by the various proto-Slavic population of the region. By the 6th century AD, 
This resulted in the displacement and extinction of the once predominant Scythian languages of the region. Sogdian's close relative Yagnobi barely survives in a small area of the Zarafshan Valley east of Samarkand, and Saka is Ossetic in the Caucasus, which is the sole remnant of the once predominant Scythian languages in Eastern Europe proper and large parts of the North Caucasus. Various small Iranian languages in the Pamirs survive that have derived from Eastern Iranian. Comparison Table